So we have a chronic full thickness ulcer here in the posterior heel. This was brought about due to a pylon fracture. Uh, and while the patient was healing from that pylon fracture, a pressure ulcer arose because he can't quite feel the back of his heel sufficiently. So the dead tissue has been removed in the operating room and now we're trying to accelerate healing. We're doing that with a product called EpiCord, which is a, a skin substitute produced from umbilical cord, donated after uh, childbirth. And uh, it really helps to speed the process along. So our patient here has been coming along very well. Uh, the white stuff, we want to get rid of the black and brown stuff, but this kind of red beefy stuff is exactly what we're looking for. That's granulation tissue. That's the first thing the body lays down. It's a network of capillary beds that allow the fibrous mesh that will eventually become the scaffolding for skin to grow. And uh, right now we're just using a little light debridement here to make sure that we get all this stuff freshened up a little bit. Uh, without blood flow, nothing heals, and, and our patient here has good blood flow, as we can see, as we debride some of this fibrous tissue here. Oh, good, we see a little bit of blood, uh, and that's exactly what we want to see. Without bleeding, there can be no healing, and so uh, we're coming along well. Now, the heel bone used to be exposed on this patient, but we managed to remove some of the superficial cortex to get to that good bleeding bone underneath the heel bone and the skin, uh, is going to grow right over that after the granulation tissue does. And beautifully, we have this red granulation tissue here covering that heel bone now. And so now our skin substitute can get placed on here. And due to his bleeding, this is going to hydrate here. And uh, we're just going to apply this. And this provides uh, chemicals and this chemotactic factors that will help bring in the patient's own stem cells. And in addition to that, it has uh, a lot of the skin scat scaffolding already there so the body's own cells have a house to move into quickly it skips a few steps and allows them to move to complete healing the proliferative phase even quicker it's one of the reasons we really rely on this and uh, speed is of the essence because when we have patients with an open wound like this any infection that he might get could be devastating so the longer this wound is open the, open, the higher a risk we have for a severe infection that jeopardizes the entire limb. So, all right, now we've covered everything and we're going to secure this in place with a, uh, a uh, mesh called Mepitel to help keep this on and then uh, we will see him back next week to see how well this is incorporated. So, all right.